It's an issue that affects millions of Americans in their everyday lives. Obsessive compulsive disorder, in this case, mysophobia, and irrational fear of germs. If any of this sounds familiar... Handrails are my enemy. It may be because comedian and television star Howie Mandel has helped give it a face. It's a condition that, until recently, had remained below the surface. I wouldn't touch this because a lot of people have touched that. And today, Howie is bringing that famous face to Kilroy's Grocery Store in Glen Rock, New Jersey, helping shine a light on an issue that he struggled with for years. Oh, man. Hey. Hey. No <laughs> you made it happen. There's nothing more obtrusive in my life than this issue. The issue, intense anxiety, and it can be triggered by anything, something even as simple as a shopping cart or a grocery basket. Tracy will be our germaphobe, trying to navigate a world filled with microscopic terror. Jeremy plays the role of a manager who just doesn't understand. And Howie, well, he's watching it all behind the scenes. If you saw a store manager berating this woman because she thinks an orange is now dirty. You see this? This has an orange peel, OK? There aren't any germs inside it. What would you do? To be honest with you, I think it'll run the gamut from ignoring to laughing. Oh, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, I, no, I can't. Immediately, a kind gesture. But for Tracy, it's not enough. Here's a basket for you. No, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Those, Thank those you. are actually dirty now. I can't, uh, the floor. No, we just mopped this morning. It's fine. Yeah, no, I just, I have, uh, I have OCD. You have what? OCD, mysophobia. Sarah Cowlin immediately understands. Yeah, it will bother her a lot. So why don't you switch, can you just switch them for different buttons? But Jeremy pretends he just doesn't get it. I'll just wipe them off. Then they'll be clean. No germs. Yeah, that's it's fine. Really not working. Why? Why are you making my job harder? It's easy. They're clean. You're going to peel it. It's our first scene of the day, and already Sarah's pulling Jeremy aside. It has a, pe it has a peel on it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. OCD is some obsessive compulsive disorder. She's shaking from this. Right. She cannot handle this. Calmly and deliberately, she tries to reason with Jeremy. Yeah, but it's it's just in her head. It's not a real I know, disease. I but, but you're not going to cure it right now. OK, I'm sure if you could, you know, if there was a wand to wave, she would have had it waved a long time ago. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just trying to sell some stuff, OK? like human. Can you be human? It's a touching moment for Howie. I love this lady. Hi there. This is all part of What Would You Do, the TV show. Oh She's OK. God. This is uh, Howie Mandel. I am Howie uh, Mandel. Uh, you, you I have mycophobia. <laughs> I'll give you a hug. I won't shake your hand. <laughs> you are so sweet and wonderful and not what I was so expecting. Oh, to see somebody that's so compassionate and stands up for somebody and kind of acknowledges that it's real mm -hmm. was so heartwarming to me. And, and you should be very proud, not embarrassed. When we used two veteran What Would You Do actors, it was a stunning intervention. But what'll happen now when we send Howie in, in disguise, to play our manager, repeating the ugly things people have said to him for years? Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, oh, uh you okay? Yeah, I, I just can't touch. touch. There you go. No, I'm good. I can't touch it. It has a lot of, a lot of germs on it. What are you talking about? Can what? we touch for you and what? put it in the basket? This stuff is perfectly good. Yeah, Take but this I, stuff. I have this. mysophobia. I, I can't. Um, I have OCD. You have what? OCD. I, I My, don't know what that mys is. Mysophobia. I don't I, know what that is. And then Elaine Cunningham tries to take matters into her own hands. So I'll put it back for you. I'm sorry. No. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Why are you doing this for her? She's just being... I'm a nice person, too, like you are. Nice? Not exactly. Yeah. Germs? A lot of germs in the Tell her that what she's saying is silly. It's her mental thing, and if she can't do that, then she has a right to do what she needs to do for her mental thing right now, right? 
Would you like me to put, help you put them back? I'm happy to do that. Can I explain something to you? Look right hi, here. Ma'am, ma hi. I'm John Quinones, and this is and What I'm... Would You Do? What? And I'm Howie Mandel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did you get involved? Because I could sense her need. Why help her? She's a stranger. Why help anybody who's a stranger? If they need help, why wouldn't you do that? I've never been surrounded by so many compassionate people. Yeah. I'm moving to Jersey. <laughs> Time and again, people stand up for our germaphobe. Will you help me out? Just tell her that it's just, uh, that she's crazy. She's entitled to her own opinion. If she's not comfortable doing it, she should do what she wants to do. And if you think people were speaking out because they recognized Howie Mandel, well, think again. Let me ask you, sir, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, you're on, this is Howie Mandel. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I'm getting a new publicist. Well, some people just aren't all that recognizable. But surely he'll recognize me. Do you know who this guy is? No. No. <laughs> All right, we won't take it personally. Despite our anonymity, things are going great. Three scenes and three outspoken defenders of our germaphobe. But Howie says, not so fast. I'll tell you why, because your actor is a female. Because it's a, you know, if a female is struggling, you know, chivalry. So we switch things up again, and this time sending in a male actor, but not just any actor. Okay. Alex, uh, yeah. come here. Howie's own son, Alex, and he knows Howie's struggle all too well. What did I always say to you? Keep your hands off the banisters? Well, off everything. Off of everything. <laughs> My whole family is like a, like a Cirque du Soleil act. Now it's father and son in a germaphobic showdown. Losing your fruit. Oh, I, uh. Still wait. I. Sorry, I don't kind of like germ stuff. I, I, That's alright. Just it's, touch it's, it. I can just go get it. I can get another one. It's. Look, what do you think is going to happen if you touch this? It's. Yeah, let him get more stuff. He's obviously yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, what? Got a, he's got an issue. Let yeah, him, let, let him let replace get some it. new stuff. Yeah, oh, come on. Seriously. Seriously. Three men immediately defending Alex. This is terrible. What's terrible? Your attitude. It's Why? Awful. This is not a real issue, though. It's obviously a real issue for him. To Howie's surprise, the support just keeps on coming. You shouldn't have to explain yourself. Don't worry about it. Don't explain yourself. It's hard to explain. Let me, you know. Do you know what he's talking about? I don't have to know what he's talking about. But he's saying, get it. do you know what he's talking about? I don't care. I honestly doesn't. No, it doesn't sound crazy to me. It was surprising. At the end of the day, not a single person treated our actors with anything but compassion. What we've done here is we've called more attention to it, and more attention is positive. And to that extent, we've succeeded. We have. Wow, another job well done. Our mission here is complete, John. Thank you.